Hello. Hello. We're back. With Le Stanley Parable. I didn't realize there were so many voices in this loading screen. But there are a lot. It's a bit disconcerting. Anyway, I think we're still in like Stanley Parable Expo or whatever. This is the st Unless. Oh, we're not. Interesting. So when I finished the ending, all of his co-workers were gone. In the other what expo, could it mean? Stanley decided it took to go me to the back meeting to the start of the expo. Perhaps he had so when I restarted the, the game, it took me here. Maybe. Ah, maybe. Yeah, maybe I just keep going. I mean, it's so oh, fun good. in here. You notice my sign? Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. I was considering going further and just doing something else, but actually this area was so fun that I'm going to do it again. To be fair, last time I did get trapped in a hole, and it was one of the more exhilarating experiences of my Stanley Parable playthrough. So, we'll see what today holds. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting so on as far the Stanley as I know, Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe this version should has turned open out, out to in be. the right door. The original Stanley but I swear the last time. Landmark. And any new content for it, it should live up lie. to that legacy. So forget this ultra Think? deluxe nonsense. Maybe it is. I this say way. we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first Think time it's this ever side. the standard. But I wish I remembered. Oh, it is this side. Okay. I did remember, kind of. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Okay, yeah, here now, we go. Now, to be go. clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be. But let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. Get on the bus. I figure yeah. that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting Why concepts, is there a bus? that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. We're back. It'll all work itself out. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Okay. So we did Infinite Hole, which was... <laughs> Very fun. Done the button thing. What if I take a screenshot? The jump circle is... Achievement. Collectibles. Settings world champion. Epilogue. Reassurance bucket. We should probably do reassurance bucket. Maybe there's something in here though. Oh, collectibles. This looks fun. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a go? real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. Just holding W. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I oh, don't want great. to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Oh my god, this is amazing. Incredible. Is this Stanley? Collect them all. Can I find them all? Doubtful. Very God, doubtful. it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Okay, wait. You know what? For science, we will check back in briefly with the infinite hole. I'm curious to see if the hole is still shallow. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. Oh, we're back. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole All right, well, that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for... You see? Isn't it wonderful? I'm going to hit the teleport button ingenious concoctions mid hole so. this time. Now then. Since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, and I'm gonna go you back. can press the teleport and see if anything's to different. back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Unless... 
Okay, and I guess we're back in the hole now. Did you really need to see it again? I don't know what else there is to say, Stanley. It's an infinite O. I think this dialogue's exactly slightly different. It's exactly what you're doing right now, but forever. There really are so many other fascinating exhibits that I've prepared for you. I really spent quite a lot of time on all this, and I would very much like to show you some more of them. How about we go ahead and press that teleport button again, so we can get back to what's really important about... Oh, goodness. Oh, well, interesting. This is rather embarrassing, Doesn't Stanley. give me the prompt. I'll be honest with you. I truly did not believe that anyone would actually stay in the hole long enough to hit the bottom. Yes, I know. I told you the hole was infinite, but come on. Who actually wants to fall forever? The hole was plenty deep. It was more than deep enough, in my opinion. Maybe it's you who likes falling too much. Maybe I think this is the same the dialogue. <sighs> now, look. Uh, things were a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't. Everything that happens in the hole is very we funny. We just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole. Mostly but we don't need to do it again. Infinite. If I'm I'm down you, to call the hole mostly infinite. Go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole, and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Oh, it says mostly infinite hole. I think I noticed that joke the first time, but that's a good one. All right, infinite hole has been checked in once again. And I think it's time for the reassurance bucket, right? Shame there's no more Stanleys to collect. Still zero jumps in the jump circle. Feels bad. All right. I get the Stanley parable I think too. reassurance it's bucket it is. It's so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? It's in here. Ultra Deluxe? What does Office it even decorations. mean? But okay, I'll be honest. Oh, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? Legitimately, what is the point of the use button when there's you know, no buttons? Sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all <laughs> along. Happy 12th Birthday, step niece it is. Well. Or actually. Maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Come now. You've already made your choice. It's true that you chose badly, but we all have to move on from our mistakes. I'm going to have to do that again. I don't think I can press the button again. No. I'm so curious what happens if you press the other one. Oh, is this new? This looks new. Oh, no. Well, I think it was new, but doesn't take us anywhere new. All right, bucket time it is. Where is the reassurance bucket? Is this anything? No, I've been there. This is just, why does it do that? That hurts my brain. I like the updated ray traced, but then more of the same, but in a good way. I think that's a very powerful description for any video game sequel. Are these things? What's this? This is nothing. Sick. All right, well, if we go to the reassurance bucket then, I suppose. The Ooh, common complaint cool of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, <laughs> I am happy to say that after much that. consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance what? while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. 
Why is this oddly terrifying? Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of I like of that I'm holding something. Well. I think that's fun. I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem that's to go probably on more, true. don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. All right. Now where do we go with our bucket? <laughs> Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Um, I guess I'll go find the area marked epilogue now. Because <laughs> I think we've done everything in here. Oh. I'm telling you, none of these doors open. Oh, settings world champion. That seems like something I want to do. Yeah, epilogue and settings world champion. That's the only two things we haven't done. We did also do free achievement. It was unfortunately currently unavailable, this build. Exit. Is the exit marked? I think the exit's also marked. Oh, E is exit. Where is E? There. So I need to go... It's the opposite of merch, apparently. This bucket sound is very funny. Where is... Is this... This is the balloons thing again. Where is settings world champion? Maybe, I mean, it would make sense that it just doesn't exist. This game has plenty of stuff that just doesn't exist. This is the button, right? Yeah, we've done that. What's this? Oh, this is a new area, I think. Ooh, An epilogue, epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, it would. yes, it would go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. What? Maybe settings world champion is not not a real oh, it is I'm ready to be the settings world champion no hang on hang on a second <laughs> just hold on a minute Guess if I change one setting. I like that there's a jump button, but it doesn't work. Oh, there's an auto walk. I actually didn't know that. Wait, maybe I did know that. Anyway, let's turn the audio down exactly one bit. And we'll turn the new down. This slightly. is the story of a man named Stanley. Just one, eh, two. Sure. Zoom the game. Sad. Maybe I'll never know how to be the settings world champion. Alright, well I think we're done in here. We can move on to the old part of the game, I suppose. I do very much like the new content area. I thought it was very fun. I'm very excited for the Stanley Parable too. Which is definitely a real game. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? I mean, I did want to see Settings World Champion, but it was not playable. Oh, it's like a presentation. So, Stanley, oh. what do you think? Do you I like, like them. all of the new features? Yes, I know I it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. Sitting it's in the audience work. with my bucket. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. 
Okay. Are you ready? Here I it am. is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Oh my god, yes. Um well, um, I this mean, is great. potential here, right? Look it's at Infinite Hole. Sort of Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me no. a different arrangement. Let me in. Let okay. me into the jump yes. circle. Yes, this is much better. I Let me in. Place. Here we go. Version two. Oh no. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? No, it's good. This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait. Would they? Maybe that's it. What if we just... I can take the original Stanley Parable and oh simply, God. well, insert a few of my new features into it. Oh, yes. Please do that. Course, with respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original. It would be very game. cool. If new would features got added to the game, like the current game. It could, but it would need a really, really tremendous oh, title screen. A title screen that oh, says goodness. with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Did the office just, like, materialize? Oh, goodness. Oh my god. This game is a hoot. I'm so curious to quit and find out if something, if it stays the same, but I think, I think I have to just hit begin because it's so fun. Also, this title screen is really great. Like, actually, this is a wonderful title screen. Oh, I think we looped back. All right, enough title screen. It's fun, though. It is a good title screen. Is this just the normal game in red? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for oh my God, the balloons! The building where he was All right, I'm assuming it's the same intro. So I'm not going to mess with it. Oh my god, the balloons. Incredible. Cannot jump. All of his co-workers were gone. <laughs> what did it mean? Stanley decided to I wonder go if to the, the new content... Room. Perhaps he had oh my god, the bucket. Memo. Stanley Let's up go! The I put the bucket back? No. It's mine now. I have the bucket for the playthrough. Stan oh, it is gone. The no. To his chest and entered the door on his left. Sure, let's go left. It's been a while since I've gone left. I guess we can try. Still, no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket and not and get exploded more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where. He oh, this found this door opens. Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? Wait, what if the, the bucket belongs closet. in here? It wants yes. The bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy, it's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. Oh my god, closet. this is That's the best. What the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't Hand give in. Hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must how be. How do I hand over the Given bucket? The pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. I don't want to be strong. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. I'm trying to give the service so badly. We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it I has like to the resort broom to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons. I always Even liked the broom closet. I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the goal to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends. That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I've never. 
Go on, I mean, Stanley. lay into it. It's kind really of true. tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal and this is so much the dialogue. landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. I don't understand. Okay, I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. Oh. There. Now it's settled. No more debate. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes also a about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. What if I stay here? All right, I've got a second sticker back here, Ooh. and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. You see, I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say I to yourself, I wonder if... Oh, it's a bucket. There really is a wide variety of I wonder if the broom closet this sticker. was a bit in the original game, but there was never anything else more concrete you, know you could do with it. I could take the name calling and the dismissal and of your kinship with the bucket. Maybe now, the this broom edition closet is it just giving us a silent an treatment. Ending? And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness Probably on not, display. But it is funny. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room oh, maybe of it is. cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever broom been in. Closet ending? I'll see Confirmed? you outside and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. Incredible. What happens if I just stay here in the broom closet? Nothing? Something? Everything? The closet will not accept my bucket. Probably can't wait here too long, but... You know, I just... I feel like there's something here. You know? Hang on. I have an idea. Maybe not. All right. I think we've had all of the broom closet dialogue that was possible. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to no, the No, yeah, we'll go upstairs. Office. Have I ever gone downstairs? Maybe not. Oh, I don't remember the code. It's been so long. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. <laughs> Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him, always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he I have don't any remember the code. That the pin number for oh, the keypad was 2845. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Bucket. Oh! You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Incredible. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these, only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You what can't if there buy that is sort of one, habit, though? Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. I do think they're great. There's just nothing back there. Like, the game is really good at just making you do dumb stuff. <laughs> All 
All right, well, we'll see if we can't outrun the, the elevator mind control downward, plummeting explosion towards this time. An unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, I do like the bucket him, shtick. Reassuring that in this darkest moment of I'm so curious how permanent right. the bucket the is here for you, stuff is. But I'm guessing it's Everything probably a flag that's on forever now. Which is kind of interesting, because I may never be able Stanley to experience the, bucket the game straight ahead through the, large door that read the way it was. I mean, I'm definitely facility. going this way. There's still so much to do, though, which is pretty cool. Like, I haven't done this, the escape there. I'm pretty the sure I've never gone downstairs. On an enormous room packed with television but screens. What might as well try and finish the things we kind of know hold? about. Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. So much extra bucket-related dialogue. I just want to jump. The monitors jumped to life. Jump. And Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. <laughs> Everyone in the office was being videotaped monitored like guinea pigs the bucket had never seen anything like this and it very nearly burst into tears as stanley cradled it gently reassuring it that everything would be fine did i click yes in the mind control device as well i honestly might have to start like watching was the bucket under old the mind control facilities influence as well just to figure had out had the bucket been told to do Although, things i think if i start doing it do. i'll probably remember what if i've done it or not things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. It would have been very His funny own life if in someone the narrator else's had control that no. never into a bucket. He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. That is very true. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy well, or sad or content. It's down there. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley hmm. decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Okay. For so he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. My memory Two best friends of this Stanley is turning and the bucket it off up against the world. They hide the game in a really cool way. Regular the bucket made a sassy comment about taking Ending? down the system. Uh we're gonna but do at this. the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Stanley gasped in horror. Had <sighs> this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the I really power want to know what itself? the bucket ending. How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in Never. disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Oh! Birds. Silly, what? Silly birds. The control buttons became active again. I mean, I don't think we can leave, and why would we leave? What is going on? Oh! Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise what? its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley Does this only the happen with the bucket? In his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their <laughs> lives here in this place, flipping through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. I mean, this is of great. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. And Stanley was happy. Is that the ending? Oh my god, that is hilarious. All right. Well, <laughs> that's it for this go round of the Stanley Parable. This game is great. Also excited that we finally unlocked the Stanley Parable 2. The sequel is now paused. Well, you know what? I don't know 
if we're going to get the sequel back or if it's going to be the regular old game. I can tell you that I am going to play the sequel again, but there's clearly a lot to get through with this game, and I'm excited to discover the rest of it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you're into that sort of thing. Stanley Parable has been a ton of fun, and I'm going to try and get through as much of the game as I can. It's hard because I don't know how much of this game exists, but uh, there's certainly a lot more to still unlock and a lot more fun ending. So, uh, yeah, as always, uh, if you're watching my content, I super appreciate it. And just thanks for hanging out.